Hello everyone and welcome back to Morgborg Tech. It's been a while since my last video. I apologize for that. Anyway, this here is a 43 piece phone lot. So we're coming full swing with these phone lots here. 43 pieces, that is actually how much was in my first phone lot. Except this phone lot was a little more expensive for me. It costs around $75. And this lot is a uh, pretty even balance between basic phones and smartphones. They are all untested and some have batteries. So let's go ahead and get right into this. All right, so I have the box like this now on its side because it was wanting to fall over. And let's take a look at the phones. So this first one here, this is an LG smartphone. Let's see, TextNow is an LS720. So if you don't know what TextNow is, it uses the Sprint network and you could get pretty cheap phone service actually. Next up here is, this looks like an LG Rumor Touch, LN510. Next up here is a Blackberry on Verizon. Very sticky. This one might have a bloated battery. very bloated so my suspicions were correct hands are very sticky now from that phone up next here's a blue smartphone this one has a battery thankfully studio g so this is an older blue phone it looks like Next up here is an LG on Verizon. Pretty worn out back cover. VX8100. I know another phone collector who has a good handful of these. Here's a Samsung on T-Mobile. I may or may not already have one of these. SGH X495, so I actually already have one of these, except I haven't been able to test it. This one is really dirty, though, so hopefully this one works as well. Here's a Sony Ericsson on Singular. Pretty interesting looking one. Get a pretty nice selfie mirror on that. Let's see. I do not see a model number on this one. Up next, here's an Alcatel on AT&T. I actually got one of these in a previous phone lot, even though it was broken, so hopefully this one works. This battery is a little bloated, but thankfully I have another OT510A. Here is a Dell phone. Probably one of the very few they ever had. This one looks a little older because it has the older Windows logo. So it probably has Windows Phone 7. Dell VO2S. I'm sure it has uh, an actual name instead of that model number. Here's a ZTE on Verizon. This is called the Salute. Pretty interesting looking phone here. F350. No battery with that one. 
Here is a Virgin Mobile texting phone. It's an Alcatel. I'm guessing Venture is the model of this one. This is the Alcatel Venture, I want to say. Pretty interesting phone there. Here's an HTC Windows phone on T-Mobile. This one's pretty beat up. Might not work because of the cracks on it. Let's see what model this one is. PB81120. Again, I'm sure that one has an actual name. Here's a UMX U504TL. This is a track phone. Here's a strange looking phone in this case here. Okay, this is really weird actually. That's a hard shell case, it looks like. A T-Mobile Samsung. Pretty strong red there, SGH T679. But as you can see, this is a kind of a hard shell case in this soft outer cover. T-Mobile D30, so this case probably was purchased from a T-Mobile store back in the day. Pretty interesting. Okay, here is what looks like the LG Chocolate 3, the chocolate flip phone. However, you remove the battery cover from this one. VX8560. Here's a Samsung Galaxy phone. This case is pretty dry. It's a pretty dry case. Looks like a similar case to the one I used for my Core Prime. But let's see what model this one is. SMG386T. If I remember right, this is called the Galaxy Avant. I've actually kind of wanted this phone for a bit. Hopefully this one works. Here's an LG Java phone on AT&T. LG C395. Here's a Samsung Sway. I already have one of these. Okay, this one has a generic battery in it, so hopefully it works. SCHU650, that is the Sway. Here's an iPod Touch in a Griffin case, very sticky case. I don't know if I'll keep this or not. I'm going to go ahead and assume this is the fourth generation because it has a rear camera. Here's a Motorola, let's see, 120T. I actually already have one of these. I got it brand new. This one is pretty beat up. Looks like it could work though, but it doesn't have a battery. That will not be a problem for me though in testing that phone. Here's a Kyocera on Virgin Mobile. Is this one what I think it is? Maybe if I can get this back cover off, I'll find out. S2100, exactly what I thought it was. This is a pretty strange back cover. Here's a singular flip phone. 
that's what they called these the uh, AT&T singular flip it's uh, the AT&T version of the Alcatel go flip just like the other models of this phone it runs Kai OS let's see 4044 O you saw the Alcatel battery in that one here's what looks like an LG G3 unfortunately I don't know which carrier this one is on because it does not have a model number when I test it, I'll find out, though. Here's a very badly shattered iPhone. Let's see if I can make out a model number on here. Well, we... I guarantee you this one does not work. I want to say this one might be a 10R, though, so... That is pretty cool to even have, considering I paid only $70 for this lot. Yeah, I, I'm going to go ahead and assume, even if this one by some miracle, if it works, I'm going to go ahead and assume this is probably, most likely, iCloud locked. Which, if you don't know, is pretty much a dead end for these iPhones. That is just about impossible to bypass. Here's a BlackBerry on Sprint with a very bloated battery. Unfortunately, multiple Blackberries with bad batteries today. There you go. 8330, so I actually already have one of these on the same carrier in a different color. Here's a Nokia on Singular. can barely make that out right there. BL5C. Seems like about a million of these old Nokias take this type of battery. 3120B. This is one of the cousins of the 3310, except I'm going to assume this one is newer. It looks a little newer than the 3310. Here's uh, some sort of Verizon phone. I'm going to go ahead and assume this is some sort of AudioVox. Actually, it's a Pantech PN300. Looks like it just takes an LG charger, so hopefully I can test this. Looks pretty cheap, though, as if it were a prepaid phone back in the day. That phone is probably about 15 years old. Here's another BlackBerry with this uh, flower thing on it. Don't want that. Yeah, cracked plastic, unfortunately. This looks like another 8330, or some variation of it. <sighs> Can't get the back off this one right now. Here's a Samsung on Boost Mobile in this case here. SPH M820, so I, if I recall, this is a Galaxy Prevail. I actually already have two of these, so if this one works, I may end up selling it. Pretty scratched up on the plastic there, unfortunately, so it's pretty beat up. Here's a Nokia on T-Mobile, pretty yellowed there. This is a Nokia 1616. Here's a, what looks like a Moto E. Don't know the carrier. It's cracked, but hopefully it works. Those cracks don't look too bad. XT1023. Okay, it's in Spanish here, so makes me think this is a foreign phone, maybe from Mexico, or on a Mexican carrier. Here's an LG on track phone. 
This looks pretty similar to the Rumor Touch that came in the lot. Go ahead and pull that out real quick. So you can see these look kind of similar, but this one, these actually slide different ways and you see they look just a little different. Let's see what model this is. LG505C. Here's a palm on singular, palm trio. Battery's pretty bloated. Palm Trio 680. Looks like an older phone for sure. Here's an LG on AT&T. This looks like the LG Neon. How do you get the back off of this one? There we go. LG GT365. That is the neon. Looks like the that is some plastic right there. Factory plastic it looks like. Just peeled that off for you on camera. Here's an LG on Virgin Mobile. This looks like the Optimus V. I already have one of these in better shape, actually. VM670. Here's a Pantec on AT&T. P5000. This looks like the Pantec Link or Link 2. One of those. Here's a Blackberry on Verizon. This looks like the Blackberry Tour. Blackberry 9630, that is the Tour. I actually had one of these back in the day, but it was broken. It had some sort of corrupted software and it would not fully turn on here's a Samsung Fascinate on Verizon this one has a battery SCHI 500 this looks like it might work Here's a Kyocera on Metro PCS. Kyocera Torino. Has a little Hello Kitty sticker on there. Just a bag here. Here's a Motorola on Singular. I'll just go ahead and remove this case for now. Maybe I can't remove the top part of the case. Very bloated battery there, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this. As you can see there. It looks like there is an AT&T wireless SIM card in there. I hear these are pretty difficult to find, so I have one in the case I'll ever need it. V551. I might actually have one of these. Here's a Nokia on T-Mobile. I'm pretty sure I have one of these already. And this is the 6103. I do have one of these. 
Yeah, it's in a little better shape than this one. Here's an Alcatel MyFlip on track phone. Looks like it has a battery. Here's a Sony Ericsson on AT&T. As you can see old logo there, so AT&T Wireless. Does this one have an AT&T Wireless SIM card? Yes, it does. T616. That battery was feeling pretty light, so hopefully that works. Here's a hefty phone, United States Cellular. So I'm pretty sure that is the predecessor to US Cellular. This looks like one of the uh, Microtac phones from the 90s. However you remove this, there we go. That's a pretty hefty battery. There is the model right there. Pretty unhelpful, in my opinion. I'll actually be pretty happy if this one works. Looks like it takes a weird charger that I almost certainly do not have. And that happened to be the last phone. You know what they say, save the best for last. So I'll go ahead and clean up a bit and organize these phones. All right, so I cleaned up a bit here. Here is the lot. I put the iPhone to the side because it is pretty badly cracked and I don't want it on here. So yeah, this is a lot. I will make an update video when I've tested all of these and stay tuned for that. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, peace.